Are you ready to take control of your financial destiny and unlock the secrets to lasting wealth? Most people just want a simple set of rules, a clear path to follow. That's exactly what we're covering in this video. These are the seven money rules that have personally guided me to financial freedom, and I'm breaking them down step by step so you can apply them to your own life. Let's dive in. This isn't about spending whatever's left at the end of the month. It's about taking control of your financial destiny from the very start. It's about flipping the script entirely. Instead of waiting to see what's left, you prioritize your future right from the beginning. Before you even think about buying that morning latte or that new gadget, a portion of your income needs to go straight to your future self. This means setting aside money for savings and investments as soon as you get paid. We're talking about automating your savings and investments, treating them like non-negotiable expenses. Just like you wouldn't forget to pay your rent or utility bills, you shouldn't forget to pay yourself first. Think of it like this. You wouldn't skip out on paying your rent or your phone bill, right? These are essential expenses that you prioritize every month. Your financial future deserves that same level of commitment. By treating your savings and investments as essential expenses, you ensure that you're always putting your future first. By prioritizing your savings, you're essentially paying yourself first, ensuring that your money grows consistently over time. This consistent growth is what will help you achieve your long-term financial goals. This shift in mindset is crucial because it establishes a solid foundation for long-term financial success. When you make saving a priority, you're building a strong financial base that will support you in the future. Remember, the goal is to make saving and investing a habit, not an afterthought. By making it a regular part of your financial routine, you ensure that you're always working towards your financial goals. So, set up those automatic transfers and watch your wealth build, one paycheck at a time. With each transfer, you're taking a step closer to financial independence and security. It's a simple yet powerful strategy that can transform your financial future. Now, let's talk about putting your money to work. Investing can seem daunting, but with the right strategy, you can make informed decisions that align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. The rule of 110 is a simple yet powerful guideline for asset allocation, helping you find the right balance between risk and reward at every stage of life. This rule is particularly useful for those who are new to investing and need a straightforward approach to managing their portfolio. Here's how it works. Subtract your age from 110. This calculation gives you a clear percentage that should be allocated to higher growth investments, primarily stocks. The resulting number represents the percentage of your portfolio that should be allocated to higher growth investments, primarily stocks. Stocks are known for their potential to provide higher returns over the long term, but they also come with higher risk. For example, if you're 30 years old, the rule of 110 suggests allocating 80%, 110 minus 30 equals 80, of your portfolio to stocks. This means that a significant portion of your investments would be in stocks, which can offer substantial growth opportunities. The remaining 20% would be allocated to more conservative investments like bonds. Bonds are generally considered safer investments because they provide fixed interest payments and are less volatile than stocks. As you get older, you gradually reduce your stock allocation, shifting towards a more conservative approach as you approach retirement. This shift helps protect your investments from market volatility and ensures a more stable income stream during your retirement years. This strategy acknowledges that younger investors have a longer time horizon to recover from market fluctuations, allowing them to take on more risk. Younger investors can afford to ride out the ups and downs of the market because they have more time to recover from potential losses. As you age, your risk tolerance naturally decreases, and this rule helps you adjust your portfolio accordingly. By gradually shifting your investments to more conservative options, you can reduce the impact of market volatility on your retirement savings and ensure a more secure financial future. Remember, the rule of 110 is a guideline, not a strict rule. It's important to consider your individual financial situation, goals, and risk tolerance when making investment decisions. Consulting with a financial advisor can help you tailor this strategy to your unique needs and ensure that your investment plan aligns with your long-term objectives. By following an age-based investing strategy, you can create a balanced portfolio that evolves with you, providing growth potential when you're young and stability as you approach retirement. This approach helps you stay on track to achieve your financial goals and enjoy a comfortable retirement. True wealth extends far beyond your bank account. 
it encompasses three key dimensions, financial wealth, time wealth, and health wealth. Financial wealth is what most people think of first, your income, assets, and net worth. But time wealth is equally important. It's about having the freedom to spend your time how you want, whether that's pursuing passions, spending time with loved ones, or simply enjoying life without financial constraints. And then there's health wealth, which encompasses both your physical and mental well-being. Without your health, it's challenging to enjoy the fruits of your financial success. The key takeaway here is that true wealth is about finding balance across all three dimensions. It's about having the financial resources to live comfortably, the time freedom to enjoy life on your own terms, and the health to make the most of every moment. The 5% Rule Making your retirement savings last. Retirement might seem far off, but it's never too early to start planning. The 5% rule is a simple guideline to help you withdraw from your retirement savings sustainably, ensuring your money lasts throughout your golden years. The rule states that you should withdraw no more than 5% of your retirement portfolio balance each year. This withdrawal rate is designed to balance your need for income with the need to preserve your capital, allowing your investments to continue growing and outpace inflation. Of course, individual circumstances vary, and factors like lifestyle expenses, health, and life expectancy should be considered. However, the 5% rule serves as a solid starting point for retirement planning, helping you create a withdrawal strategy that provides both income security and peace of mind. The five categories of wealth. Diversify your path to financial freedom. Building wealth isn't about relying on a single income stream. It's about diversifying your sources of financial stability across five key categories, earned income, passive income, capital gains, inherited wealth, and asset value. Earned income is what you earn from your job or business. Passive income is money generated from assets you own, such as rental properties, dividend-paying stocks, or online businesses. Capital gains are profits earned from selling assets like stocks, real estate, or businesses for more than you paid for them. Inherited wealth is passed down from family members, while asset value refers to the worth of your possessions, such as your home, car, or collectibles. By focusing on building wealth across multiple categories, you create a more resilient financial foundation, reducing your reliance on any single source of income. Financial literacy, your secret weapon to building wealth. In the world of personal finance, knowledge is power. Financial literacy is essential for making informed decisions, avoiding costly mistakes, and building a secure financial future. It's about understanding fundamental concepts like budgeting, saving, investing, debt management, and retirement planning. The good news is that there are countless resources available to boost your financial literacy, from books and articles to podcasts and online courses. Make it a habit to educate yourself continuously, staying up to date on financial trends and strategies. Remember, the more you know, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the complexities of personal finance and achieve your financial goals. Debt versus Leverage Using Debt Strategically to Build Wealth In this chapter we will explore how debt, often seen as a financial burden, can be transformed into a powerful tool for building wealth when used wisely. Debt is often portrayed as the enemy of financial well-being, but it's not always so black and white. While it's true that debt can lead to financial stress and hardship, it can also be a means to achieve financial goals if managed correctly. There's a crucial distinction between detrimental debt and strategic leverage. Understanding this difference is key to using debt to your advantage. Detrimental debt, like high-interest credit card debt, can trap you in a cycle of payments and hinder your financial progress. This type of debt often comes with high interest rates and can quickly spiral out of control if not managed properly. Strategic leverage, on the other hand, involves using borrowed money to invest in assets that have the potential to generate returns greater than the cost of borrowing. This can include investments in real estate, stocks, or even starting a business. For example, taking out a mortgage to purchase a rental property can be a form of strategic leverage if the rental income covers the mortgage payments and generates positive cash flow. This allows you to build equity in the property while also potentially earning a profit. The key is to use leverage cautiously and strategically, ensuring that the potential rewards outweigh the risks. It's important to thoroughly research and plan your investments, considering all possible outcomes and having a clear strategy in place. Always have a solid plan for repayment and avoid over-leveraging yourself, which can put your financial security at risk. This means understanding your financial limits and not borrowing more than you can realistically repay. By doing so, you can use debt as a tool to build wealth rather than a burden that holds you back. 
In conclusion, debt doesn't have to be a negative force in your financial life. When used strategically, it can be a powerful means to achieve your financial goals and build lasting wealth. The key is to understand the difference between detrimental debt and strategic leverage, and to use debt wisely and responsibly. Take control of your financial future. There you have it, the seven money rules that can set you on the path to lasting financial success. Remember, the journey to financial success is a marathon, not a sprint. Seek professional advice and conduct personal research for sound financial planning. Stay committed, stay educated, and take control of your financial future.